The consort plays music from Bach to blues, from Zarlino to Zappa, from the Middle Ages and Renaissance periods to the music of the modern masters, including original compositions and transcriptions. Because the instruments are all completely democratic, each instrument is like every other instrument, it becomes about the personality of the players. So it's important to have personalities that the people in the audience are going to be able to relate to. I had just the most amazing images of beauty. I feel like this is the key word for the Hutchins Consort is building beauty. Joe McNally, he's a great artistic director. He's very intelligent, very musical. He knows a lot about everything, musically and otherwise. He takes pieces from the great symphonies, from quartets, from solo pieces, from harpsichord pieces, from medieval works to, to rock and roll. And he creates this great fusion of music that is just so enjoyable to play and, and I'm sure the audience loves. Chris Woods brings a, a really interesting and fantastic dynamic to the group. He's a world-class improviser, and I've never heard anybody who could play the treble, which is a notoriously difficult instrument to play, um, with the kind of accuracy and panache that he does. And he's a natural showman, too. Um, he will you know, go out into the audience at the drop of a hat. He'll start improvising over the top of a Bach fugue or, um, and I've given him carte blanche to do so. I love this concert. It just, it just made me feel so alive. I wanted to dance. <laughs> Fred Charlton, he's great, great arranger, great composer, great person. And he's very funny, you know, he he's, does some of the singing on some of the songs, so he's got that real low, basso profondo voice. So he really can carry his own weight and songs uh, with his speaking and singing, and we just have a lot of fun. It's really uh, an incredible blessing to have the Hutchin Consort here in San Diego. The level of uh, music, the complexity of the performances in each concert going through all the ages from Baroque to modern, the having a composer in residence, it's, it's really mind-boggling. I love Beth Folsom. She's awesome. She's got a great heart stuff. She's like the heart of the group and she's got the vision for the group. She's a great player. She played in the LA Phil. She's got amazing technique and musicality and passion and she loves to move around, which is good for me because I like to move around and not everybody always wants to move around, but she's always willing to meet my energy and we play off each other a lot in the concerts and we have a lot of dialogues, musical dialogues, and she's always thinking of funny things we can do and stuff like that, which I always like to do. So it's fun to have somebody else helping me with that. Uh, one of the collaborators that we work with frequently is Lauren Smith. Uh, Lauren is a lyric soprano, but she's got a lot of skills. She's also a, a wonderful dancer and she will sing not only the classical repertory but she'll sing in, you know everything up to rock and roll songs and she's a terrific uh, performer so we did an entire recital with her as well as doing the Ortiz Tarado festival in Mexico and we're always working on, on new ways of collaborating with her. I absolutely enjoy the concert. The music was amazing, the dancing was amazing and Overall, the concert was really great. When I've come to hear them play, I was honestly moved to tears many times by the sweetness of the sound, as well as the power that the whole ensemble has together when they hit a certain chord, the way it resonates. Joe McNally and the Hutchins Consort have taken 
the violin octet and made that into a fascinating experience that literally has fingers musically that reach out into different parts of the world. But after clapping, they're, they're yelling out stuff to them. Oh, we love you. I just caught so You know, it's, it's very liberating. It's not one of those things where it's just like, yes, yes, very beautiful. Yes, it's very, one of, I freaking love you. I just caught so hard. And just like, it's like, whoa, what is this? Like a Led Zeppelin? We try to approach everything as if it's a living, breathing art form. And in a way that traditional groups almost aren't allowed to, we can do this because we have an, a unique set of instruments so that we're creating a new art form in which that not only becomes a possibility, it becomes a certainty.